Hi, my name is Pete Broadbent. I'm Bishop of Wilsdon, a member of General Synod, uh, and I'm excited because we're nearly there. Uh, we've got to the stage where in November we're going to be voting on women bishops, and I'm hoping for a resounding yes uh, from the Synod, uh, which gets us the two-thirds majority we need. Uh, why am I so passionately committed? Because I've worked with women in the church and in the community. Uh, I see their amazing gifts of leadership. I see what they bring and what they'll bring to the church uh, as bishops. Uh, and there's a logic to what we're going to do anyway, because uh, when we ordained women as priests, it was only right we should then say they should be bishops as well. We've been, been around the houses a long time uh, trying to get this legislation right, and uh, I've been involved uh, quite a lot in trying to make that happen. Uh, and I think we've got to the stage now where there's a consensus in the church that this is the best possible way forward. I know there are people on both ends of the debate who are concerned about it uh, and who think that we're uh, doing down those who are opposed or we're demeaning women by what we're doing. I think neither of those is true. I think there is now in the measure sufficient provision uh, for those who are against and there's a real sense in which what we're doing is affirming women on equal terms with men. So I think the legislation is okay. Uh, it's not the best thing that everyone hoped for uh, in many ways, uh, but a vote against it now uh, will be a vote which sets us back another five years and sends us around the houses again. Uh, if you're thinking of voting against, uh, can I urge you, if your uh, objection is not completely principled and against, to think again? Uh, because I believe it's important we get a, a two-thirds majority this time round and don't uh, look completely stupid in the eyes of society, in the eyes of the church, uh, and uh, spend our time discussing this for another five, ten years. If you're in favour, uh, but worried about the provisions, uh, I think the House of Bishops will provide a code of practice uh, which will work for those who are opposed. Uh, and in the end, the most important thing is to get women bishops in place, uh, to see their ministry benefiting the church uh, and for us to stay together as a church as we do that. Uh, so please consider making sure that your vote goes in favour uh, in November. Thank you.